I've downloaded the app Scannable to my iPhone. And once you click in, it's ready to go. It's going to start looking for a document immediately. So have your document ready before you even op open the app. There was page one. As you can see, it has an auto find feature. So if, if you set your piece of paper against a contrasting color of a background, it will work much quicker for you. And, and it will have a much easier time um, finding the document. And it's okay if you scan an area slightly bigger than the exam page because you can crop it out later. This scannable app will allow you to rotate the pages, crop, or make adjustments after you're done here. So here's page five, and you see this is a pretty quick process. This did take me a few runs of practice to be able to do it smoothly. Here's page six. Now it's ready to upload to Google Drive. You can also use Gmail to share it at this point, which may save you some time. Once you hit that check mark, you can even send out images if you want. Otherwise, the default is set to um, creating a PDF and it will automatically compile them into one PDF. There you go, hit share. First I hit send, then share. Now it's going to, you're going to be allowed to pick your option here and I, I'm choosing Google Drive. And I'm just making sure my base folder is selected there. Save, now I'm going to upload it. You see, it goes pretty quickly. And given the smaller file size, it, you should be able to Gmail it as well. There, all done. Now it's going to, I'm going to be able to find it on, on Google Drive and I can go on my computer and upload, uh, be able to upload the file ultimately to Gradescope. So starting anywhere, you can go to drive.google.com, log into your university account. This is my personal account. I'm going to switch to my university account here. Now the file I uploaded from my phone is findable here. There it is. I'm going to download it to my computer, rename it, and then get it to great scope. So here's the download, call it what you want. Now you can go to great scope and upload the file you just downloaded. So once you log into great scope, you're going to pick the course. This is chem 2 B. You'll either be in section B or C, you see on the right. There, once you're in the course, you can go to assignments and you'll see all of the, and that's where you're going to find your exam. It hasn't been released yet. It's not going to be released till right before your exam. But once you're ready to upload, this will be available. You'll click on the assignment and there'll be an option once you're in there to upload the PDF you just created. 